Two ball clubs, one division. We'll see the Chicago White Sox as they play against the Detroit Tigers. Moments away on 2K Sports. Offensive production. It's what he's all about. Maglio Ordonez getting ready to start in this game. Comerica Park, downtown Detroit, the home of the Tigers. That's where we are. Line up for the White Sox. Let's take a look. It is courtesy of Pepsi. Thoughts, John? Anybody stand up? Well, you talk about a veteran presence in the middle of the lineup. Paul Canerco has been one of the more consistent power hitters in baseball over the last eight to ten years. He's a guy that... And yeah, so Johnny Damon leads it off. The White Sox won last night. Fantastic story this season. That's 14 in a row that they've put away in the W column. They are on a roll. That's a foul ball. Going back to that last outing, a big win. Big offensive game. Uh, absolutely. Offense was the story in this game. And there's just no chance of containing these bats when they get hot. Here's the pitch. Strike, Strike two. two. No balls. Two strikes. Veteran Damon, though, he'll cut it down and try to just poke it out there. Let's uh, see if he bounces back after last night's game, striking out twice. Out. See if he has a little bit more plate discipline. He got him there. That was a nice strikeout. With two strikes, the hitter won at the fastball. He got it, but didn't do anything with it. And it's Alexei Ramirez now, one away. 270 lifetime batting average against the Tigers. Swung on and missed, 0 and 1. But well, right there, you can just tell that the hitter was absolutely fooled on that pitch. Nothing you can do. You try to reach out and just put it in play, but he swung through it. A swing and a miss. Alexei Ramirez is retired. Well, that's about as straight as a string right there at 84 miles per hour. And here's Paul Canerco. Swings on that 0-0 delivery, misses the fastball. Strike one. On his last game, came so close to hitting for the cycle. Got the home run in the single. There's a ball. Hit well. Deep into center field. Way back, way back. The first run of the ball game. You'll have to get that on the big fly ball and a 1-0 lead. That's what you want. Run support for your pitching and attack the opposition. That's what the White Sox are doing right here. There's a swing. A ball hit high, deep, straight away left. Goodbye, home run. They'll take that one run homer. They need that. Now the lead is two. Oh, you got to feel for this pitcher now. He's just getting pounded. And after you give up that first one, Steve, sometimes you lose your focus and you make a fat pitch, and it looks like that's what he did. Yeah, you've got to let go of something negative and get yourself focused again. He's not getting it done. Put something off, and it swung on and missed. 0-1. Well, you talk about a guy who just corkscrewed himself into the ground. Bad timing. Strike two. Gordon Beckham now will have to keep an eye out on the strike zone. You're and that one swung on a miss by Gordon Beck. And so they quickly put up the first two runs here, getting an early lead. The White Sox lead it two to nothing. And it'll be Jared Washburn doing the pitcher. He's going to start for Chicago. So, Steve, what's he going to be conscious of now as he looks at this Detroit lineup? Uh, Jared Washburn out on the mound, and this one to get a chance to watch the crafty left-hander do his work, commanding all of his pitches. He needs to work ahead on the count and throw the off-speed stuff for strikes to expand the strike zone. And in settles in for the first pitch. Looked like the cutter that time for a called strike. Lifetime numbers 219 off the White Sox. Hit sharply towards the hole, and TN with a catch. 
Take a look at Jimmy Leland's lineup. This is brought to you by Pepsi. And our scouting report, John, who are we watching for today? Well, you talk about a veteran guy right here, Carlos Guillen, that when he's healthy, he can be a big-time run producer in the middle of the lineup. He hasn't had that health, though, the last few years. But when he's on, he can really carry a team. Switch hitter, both sides of plate power, very valuable to have on your team. And it's Carlos Guillen in the box now. Now in his 13th year in the bigs. And he watches a cut fastball to start the at bat for strike one. Well, if he can throw this cutter down and away like this, he's going to be very effective. That's an outstanding pitch. Shot back to first. That falls in. First hit of the ball game for this ball. Guillen keeps running. There's the throw. No luck beating him to second. He is in there. Sometimes risky business when you go after that extra base. Yeah, Gary, that dive in the second base was the key as well. He didn't slow down at all. Able to extend his arms and get in there. Indeed. Miguel Cabrera with a runner in scoring position. Washburn set and delivered. Oh, wow. One oh now lined up the middle and Ramirez feels the ball too late and he is safe at second and a moment to check out the defensive alignment for the White Sox scouting these fielders Steve well, they're confident with Alex Rio South is just a solid all-around defender with a strong throwing arm he's a quality defensive player paints the lower outside corner call strike one Unless you stay back and really think about going the other way, you've got no chance of hitting that four seamer down and away. Swing a little line drive towards the middle. Two down here in the inning. And they'll try and hold the runners second and first this day. Two outs now. Those runners are still standing on base. Let's see if he can find his way out of this with the lead intact. It's Rayburn at the plate. Fielded by Ramirez. Throws to first in time. That's three down. No runs and a couple of hits and two left on. The White Sox still ahead. Looking ahead, six, seven, eight. They're due up. Sun shining here at Comerica Park. Detroit weather behaving. Great combination and glad to share the day with you. And Alex Rios to lead off. And uh, at the plate, one of the tops in runs scored. Top five. Line hard down the left field line. Off the wall on a hop. Fans, next Monday you can catch another dose of baseball. It'll be Kevin Euclid and the Boston Red Sox. They face the Yankees at Yankee Stadium. Game time is 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 Pacific. Looking forward to that one, Gary. That's going to be some kind of ball game to tune into. Chance to drive it a run, A.J. Pierzynski. Right there in the top five in home runs. No outs, runner on second. Swings at that fastball and misses. 0 and 1. And that's a strike. A.J. Pruszynski now behind in the count. Defensive stance at the plate. He clearly had a shot at hitting for the cycle last time out. Got the triple, which is the toughest. Hit the ball out of the ballpark for a home run. Got a single, but just lacked the double. Couldn't get it done. And is Rios heading home. And the run gets in. And the White Sox, they just keep rolling. Third baseman, number 25, Mark Tien. Boy, I don't know in that count, Steve, number one, the fact that he swung is kind of a surprise. I don't know how he hit that where it was. You're right. On an 0-2 count, you have to protect the plate. Sometimes it's a defensive swing, but sometimes it works out. And Martin to bat. Steve, we've seen them continue to charge it up at the plate, and it doesn't look like they're going to be stopped. Boy, so many quality at bats for this offense. The pitcher has to make a pitch here and slam this door shut, or this could get away from him. Back to first, not in time. Not quick enough on the relay. 
designated. This is Jim Tomey at the plate. What a year for him. Top five at home. One down, runner at first. There's a swing high and deep into center field. Way, way back there. Gone! A two-run homer. White Sox lead expanding here, Gary. They just keep getting big hits. Number 18, Johnny Damon. First pitch on the way to Damon. Well hit towards the middle. Everett picks it up. And so Damon retired. Let's take a chance now to take a look at where the White Sox sit today in the rankings in the American League. First in doubles, first in batting average, and they're also the number one team hitting with runners in scoring position. That batting average driving in runners. This lineup knows how to hit in the clutch. They're patient. They let the ball come to them and then they deliver. And he'll step on first to retire the side. So they strike for three more runs here and widen that lead even further. White Sox, they've got a commanding five run lead. It's going to be Santiago now. Second base. Number 39, Ramon Santiago. Swung on and a grounder to first. And out number one as he steps on the base. Designated hitter. Number Larry shot the plate. First pitch of fastball. That's in there for a strike. Hot shot towards the hole. That should be a base hit. That will bring up Gerald Lair. And a chance now to see where the Tigers sit in the American League rankings. Ninth in strikeouts. Tenth in batting with runners in scoring position. And they're in the top ten in base on balls. And a real strength for any club that even if you're not hitting on a given day, if you work the count, you can get runners on and get base runners in scoring position. Fastball in there for a called strike. That's a great pitch right there. Four seam fastball. The problem is you lay it right down the middle and you're running the risk he could hit it out of the park. Still 0 and 2. On the ground to first. And he steps on first. That's the second out. A nice stop by the first baseman there, but the runner able to advance in scoring position. And it's Everett batting. It's fourth time around. He's gone one for three off Jared Washburn. Washburn set and delivers. Starts him out with a curveball for a strike. The pitch. Hold one. Good hard cutter in for a called strike. And it holds at 0 and 2. Swings and hits this one. Going to be fielded by Rios. And that's going to do it in this half inning. Jared Washburn coming off the mound. He's off to a commanding start. And it'll be the one. And if you are just tuning in, hi. Gary Thorne along with John Crux, Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. And Paul Kaderko to lead it off. He homered earlier in the ball game. Here's the pitch. It's strike one. Can't make contact on the fastball. He has a 286 batting average against the Tigers. Oh, what a drive. He smashed it. And Canerco retired. One away. And it's Carlos Quinton in the box now. 
He's the league leader in hits. Base is empty with one away. First pitch to Quinton. There's a swing and a drive deep right field. As he retreats back for it and gets the up. And Beckham's in the box. Struck out swinging his last time up. That one's drilled to short. Played by Everett. Oh, throws on to first in time to retire the side. No strikeout. There's a familiar face, Isaac Gian looking up. He has to be pleased with the position he's in now. Offense is cooking. And Brandon Inge at the plate. And frequently walked. He's the most walked hitter in this division. This one's grounded hard up the middle. Back up. And Inge is retired. Left fielder, number nine. And Guillen's bad. One out, faces in. And here's the first one. Line towards second. And that will bring Miguel Cabrera up. Well, he did his job right there, Number getting on base. Now with one out, let's see if they can move him around and get him in scoring position. And he starts Cabrera out. Cabrera will foul that one away. Now Przinski sets up. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. And it gets through two for two. There's a prime production opportunity for the Tigers. Uh, oh, what a mistake right here. He throws it over the heart of the plate, and he pays for it. And Ordonia settles in first pitch. And it's plucked off the field. Gets one at second. Over to first and safe. Very close play. They will not get the double play. They get the lead runner at second base, but I think they would have liked to have gotten two right there. It's Rayburn at the plate. He's 0 for 5, lifetime off Washburn. Got him out with a cut fastball for a strike. Well, if he can throw this cutter down and away like this, he's going to be very effective. That's an outstanding pitch. He delivers. That ball swung on, hit. Rios to field it. That'll do it as they put that one away. So, no runs, two hits, and they strand two. Tigers can't get the offense going. Things off here, inning number four. Number 51, Alex Rios. Here's the first pitch. Paul belted deep left center field, way back, way back. Goodbye, home run. Well, I don't know what's going wrong for these guys, extending their lead to six solo big shot. White Sox lead expanded here, Gary. They just keep getting big hits. And he gets this one by him on one. And Steve, you give up that big fly ball. Now trailing further in this one. Pitching's got to find a way to shut this down right now. Well, that's right. Listen, now with the bases empty, you've got to get in your mind that you're starting over and get out. A swing and a miss. Strike three, but a chance at first. Oh, and he got him. What a throw. He gets the play at first base. And Gary, as soon as the pitcher lets go of the ball, he knows what can happen in this situation. He's hoping his catcher can stop it and get the out in time. Great heads-up play. There's a big two right there. And Mark Tien up. And one of the top ten averages right now. And he steps on first. That's the second out. Look now at the hottest bat. State Farm, our leaderboard for the highest batting average over the last 10 games. Now we see some tremendous hitters on this list. Guys who understand how to make good contact at the plate and get the good part of the bat on the ball on a consistent basis. Base is empty and two down. First pitch on the way. Cut on and missed 0-1. Now, if you watched last night's ball game, you saw a very special night offensively. 
He drove in six runs in that game. That swung on and a liner here. Now and that'll bring Johnny Damon to the plate. Zach Miner is going to be pitching. He's been chosen to take over out there in the top ten in hits. Runner on first, two away. First pitch on the way to Damon. It's now 0 and 1. Watch that fastball go by. Uh, one thing they know they can count on in this lineup is his bat. He has been so consistently good. The pitch. This is swung on, lifted to deep right field. And that will end the half inning as Ordonez makes the play. Well, they pick up a run on the home run and add to their lead. White Sox continue to run away with this ballgame. Looking to the lineup, six, seven, eight hitters on their way to the plate. It's going to be Santiago now. Here's the first pitch. Back up the middle. What a great snag right there to get the out. Tremendous athletic play. Yes. Larish at the plate. One out, nobody on. And that swung on and hit. Rios. They take care of that one. Take a look at the teams leading the way with fewest walks allowed, courtesy of State Farm. The White Sox, number one. The Royals in second. Third, the Mariners. Rangers fourth, and it's the Yankees number five. Will you ask any manager and any pitching coach in baseball Ball. the one thing they really hate to see, and that's putting guys on base without having to swing the bat. Well, this team does it better than anyone. Swing and a bouncer up the middle, and Ramirez feels the ball. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. And a quick inning for Jared Washburn. He's now through four innings of shutout baseball. Four complete at Comerica Park. Two hole to get things. And it's Alexei Ramirez now to lead it off. 0 for 2 thus far. And it's Alexei Ramirez now to lead it off. Detroit coming in off a loss in their last one. Chance here to at least prevent the three game sweep. They hope to go one and two against the White Sox. And the first pitch. Swung on line to right field. And be sure to tune in next Sunday. It's going to be the Red Sox on the road. They face the Yankees at Yankee Stadium. Game time is 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 Pacific. Canerco at the plate while leading the league in home runs. Runner on first. And the first pitch. There's a swing and a smash. And Rayburn. That's one away. Stepping up to the plate for the Chicago White Sox. And the uh, runner on, Carlos Quinton, will hit. And he really gets a lot of attention. Doesn't matter whether he's home or on the road. And Laird sets up his target. Cut on and missed on one. And Zach Miner now 0 2 count. Well, they're getting blown out in this one, so they need to get out of this inning quickly without giving up any runs. And, you know, one out, they can get a double play. Swing and a miss, slider, two down. Well, it made that one look easy, huh? I mean, look at three pitches and a strikeout. And Beckham's in the box. Career batting average 244 against the Tiger. He deals. Now 0 and 1. Watch that fastball go by. I uh, had some difficulty making contact in the game last night, striking out twice. Here's the pitch. Strike Swing and a miss. All the pressure on the hitter right now. He knows that he has to protect the plate in order not to strike out. Yeah. A swing and a miss. Strike three, but a chance at first. Oh, and he's got it over to first base, and they get the out. Uh, great catching. He's earning his money behind the plate today, chasing that ball in the dirt, blocking it. And getting the runner out just in time. That could be a great way to start the offense. And it's Everett batting. 
over for one thus far. Number four, Adam Everett. The first pitch. Right one. Plays off a called strike. 0 and 1. Well, if he could throw this cutter down and away like this, he's going to be very effective. That's an outstanding pitch. Shot towards the hole. It is fair. Nobody could get to it. A base hit. And safe at first. That'll bring Brandon in, Joe. Rounded out his last time through. No one out and a runner on first. And in settles in for the first pitch. And he takes a called strike. His career average and even 300 against Jared Washburn. Line towards second. Beckham able to pull that one. And that will hold him at first. There's one on. Here's Carlos Guillen. Had a base hit his last time up. Washburn set and delivers. Grounded up the middle. The second. There's one. And they turn the double play. Only five pitches to get out of that inning. That'll rest your arm. Still unable to score. Detroit still nothing on the board. Looking ahead. Six, seven, eight. They're due up. And Alex Surrios to lead off. I was coming off the game last night where he had two big hits, and looks like he's starting to get locked in a little bit. And he starts Rios out. Curveball swung on and missed. Now it's 0 1. Well, not a whole lot you can do when a pitcher's locating that curveball down in the strike zone. There's just not a lot for the hitter to get accomplished with that swing. You just hope to foul it off, and he makes a mistake with the next one. Here's the pitch. Hard grounded a short. That's one away. Let's take a peek at the league leaders and hits brought to you by State Farm. It's going to be Przinsky, one of the best batting averages in the league. And here's the first one. And a ground ball, Cabrera. And he gets it through. That's his second hit in the ballgame. And coming up for the Tigers, we'll wrap up the Chicago series today. Their homestand continues with another team, the Los Angeles Angels. That's a three-game series. Following that, they'll have to deal with Evan Longoria. The Rays come into town. A team that will definitely give them a competitive series. A little bit of swing sits this one pretty well. Deep right center. All the way to the wall. And here's Pazinski heading home. And he's in there. He scores from first. Well, one of the offensive leaders in the game this year. And obviously a guy who's getting the job done for this offense. And somebody they've really come to rely upon. Well, you win a game and you have four hits. You contributed mightily to that success. And look what's happening here. He's getting them started again. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. It's 0-1 as he swings and misses at that fastball. Over his career, going 291 off Detroit. And he leaves that pitch alone. Jim Tomei with patience evens the count. He's coming off of a very special game last night. Three home runs in a single game. He has to be feeling confident going to the plate here. Over the wall. Goodbye. A two-run homer. They have not figured out a way how to shut down this White Sox offense today. They look so good. First pitch on the way to Damon. Couldn't get around in time. 0 1. And a big, big offensive day, Steve. Like you said, uh, they've just got the bats rolling today. Well, tough. Going to be very tough for them to come back right now. There's the power of numbers being there. I mean, three innings left, but an awful lot of offense. There's a swing and a drive deep to left field. Guillen will field. He has to back up for it. Comes away with the out. So let's take a look at the Central Division race now. The trade deadline has passed. 
here on the State Farm standings board. First place, the White Sox. Second place, the Royals. Third belongs to the Twins. Fourth place, the Indians. And rounding out the list, the Tigers. In the tough AL Central, we all thought the White Sox would finish down on the pack, but instead, they're sitting on top and making this all look silly. This is popped down the right field line. Should be room. Trying to track that one down, but comes up empty. Here's the pitch. Hit hard on the ground to short. Throws to first in time. That's three down. Well, they strike for three more runs here and widen that lead even further. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. Sun shining here at Comerica Park here in Detroit. A great view of the city from this year. And here's Miguel Cabrera to lead it off. And he starts Cabrera out. And he takes one in there, 0 and 1. It's a nice location with that fastball down in the zone. If he makes contact, it's going to be a ground ball. Oh Miguel Cabrera, not fooled by that pitch. That'll even the count. Who he pulls the string with a circle change, one and two. And the one two delivery from Washburn. The right center. And in there, three for three ball game. Cabrera is heading for third. Stops at second. Two back. Going around the league, the team's keeping their ERA down, courtesy of State Farm. The White Sox, number one. The Red Sox in second. In third, the Yankees. Fourth, the Mariners. And for the Orioles, they are fifth. Well, this whole staff seems to be in shutdown mode. And it doesn't matter if it's the starter, the reliever, or the closer. These guys are all getting the job done. It makes it so much easier on your offense when you know you don't have to score eight to ten runs to win a game. Washburn set and delivered. 1 0 pitch, circle change, that's over. 1 and 1. Line softly to center field. And that's a base hit. Ordonia's on. Cabrera's going to try and score here. And the run is in. And the Detroit Tigers, well, what a momentum swing for them. Well, he saw a pitch that he really liked, and he did not miss it. A really nice job with nobody out, keeping this inning going and picking up that RBI. Great, great piece of hitting. It's Rayburn at the plate. Progress, they're happy to see it, but they've got to have some major production if they're going to get back. A liner headed for the hole, and Tien with the catch. And they'll hold him at first base. It's going to be Santiago now. First pitch on the way. Ball. Cutter misses badly on a no. Right. In there, we're even at one. There's a swing and a liner towards first. And it's through. That's a base hit. It was a prime production opportunity for the Tigers. Well, as a pitcher, all you can do is throw it where you think he can't hit it, and that's what this pitcher did. He made a great pitch. He executed it perfectly. Just give the hitter the credit. He beat him on this one. Washburn set and delivered. Right one. That's him out with a cut fastball for a strike. When you can hit your spot with that kind of movement down and into the hitter, you're way ahead of the game. Damon. Two down here in the inning. Let's take a chance now to take a look at where the White Sox sit today in the rankings in the American League. First in doubles, first in batting average, and they're also the number one team hitting with runners in scoring position. That batting average driving in runners. This lineup knows how to hit in the clutch. They're patient. They let the ball come to them, and then they deliver. And Jared Washburn delivering the strike quickly up. Let's see if they go right at him or if they're going to waste the pitch. They're way ahead right now. 
Swung on, line softly towards center. And that'll get him a good. They're on a roll. And Ordonez scores. Situations repeating themselves here. A chance to produce, and they are. Well, that pitch down and away is the toughest in the game to hit. Perfect pitch from the pitcher. Great piece of hitting. Keep that in mind. Next time around, we'll see whether or not he changes up and how he throws to this guy. Runners at first and third with two away. And here's the first one. Looks at one. That's in there for a strike. They're moving a little bit closer right now, Gary. It's what they need to do. They're going to try to come back in this game. Get base runners on. And they picked up two. Fouled off. Oh. Struck him out. He gets out of this with just a little hurt. Jared Washburn coming off the mound. He's held the offense to two runs over six. Run support has given him the lead. And it'll be the White Sox. Things will start getting difficult with the third man in the order lurking ahead. And we get a look there at Jim Leland. His club's moving in the right direction offensively. Last half inning. Pitching is now critical to give his guys a shot. They try and get this tied. And he starts Canerco out. He waved at that breaker and misses. And the an no one count. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed. Strike two. Pitch on the way. Hit up the middle. And it gets through a two for four ball game. Now up to the plate. Well, that pitch down and away is the toughest in the game to hit. A perfect pitch from the pitcher. Great piece of hitting. Keep that in mind. Next time around, we'll see whether or not he changes up and how he throws to this guy. First pitch to Quinton. Swung on and missed. Strike one. The pitch. Strike two. strike two. Now with no balls, two strikes. Quinton needs to protect that strike zone. Well, great movement on that two seamer You're right out. there. Had him way out on his now front foot. To Able to so set him down there. Zone. Chalked that one up as Second a strikeout for him. And Beckham's in the box. Still without a hit yet in the game. He'll get another chance here. Here's the first pitch. Line shot into center field. And it gets down. The streak is on. Now we have a look at the lead leaders for the best on base percentage. The table setters brought to you by State Farm. Getting on base is a philosophy. It's a mental state. It's a really an approach. And these guys understand that. They understand they have to do whatever they can to get on. They have the toughest at bats of any hitters in the major leagues. And he starts Rios out. Swing and a miss on that curveball. It's 0 and 1. Well, they need somebody to get out of an inning without giving up runs. And, you know, I got a shot right here to do it, but you're going to need a double play ball. And I tell you what, if they don't get out of this inning, I don't think they can come back, Gary. On to first, safe. Can't get the back end of that one. Out on the mound, we will see Phil Cope as the Tigers decide to bring in a reliever. Johnny gets going here against these White Sox bats. What are you expecting? Well, Phil Coke is your typical left-handed reliever. He can pitch anywhere in the game. He can give you multiple innings if you need it. His fastball is an average fastball, 92 to 94 miles an hour. Slider in the low 80s. But what you like about the swing liner back up the middle. That's down. Runner could come home. Rios towards third base. Now up to the well, he's having a heck of a day so far. It's his third hit of the game in this one. He just can't seem to find an answer for him. Two men on, two men out. First one to tee in. Here's the pitch. Hot shot towards the hole. From his knees, he got him. What a play! 
They pick up one on three hits, strand a man. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. And Brandon Inge at the plate, 0 for 3 to this point. Number 15, Brandon Inge. And Inge settles in for the first pitch. Just missed with the fastball, 1 0. Look, Gary, just take a lead here in the seventh inning. It's incumbent upon the pitcher to throw strikes, get outs right now. And in swings and misses at that one. That evens up the count. Washburn set and delivers. There's one that misses two and one. And Przinsky calls for the pitch. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. And he'll step on the back. That'll be the first out. Carlos Guillen. He got another Carlos shot after hitting into that double play last time. One out, faces him. First pitch, A.B. begins to Guillen. Smash towards the middle. Back I'm able to pull that one in. And Cabrera settles in. Had a double his last time up. And he gets this one by him on one. Well, it's getting late right now. Two outs here in the seventh inning, and you know they're down by a bunch of runs. They need to start to get something going right here, Gary. And Jared Washburn delivering the strike quickly up. I don't think he's going to waste any time right now. He's just going to go right at him with that 0-2 pitch. Cabrera will foul that one away. Miss there, one and two. And the one two delivery from Washburn. Fastball swung out and missed, and the sides retired. And they are retired in short order. Good defensive half inning. The White Sox still ahead. Quick look at Ozzie Guillen looking up. Satisfied manager, I think, right now. He's got the ball club in a pretty good spot. You know, they're losing a little bit in the defensive department with this change. It may be geared more toward offense. It's just odd to make this move right now. On the way. Good pitch that time, and it's 0 1. It's fourth time around. He's gone one for three off Coke. Swing on and miss behind now, 0-2. Well, if he has the ability to spot that pitch down and in, that slider, he should come right back to it because it is an unhittable pitch, as you saw right there. And they'll record the out at first base. Good timing on that play. They might not have been able to get him out of the plate, but a short run over the first, he still retires his man. One out, nobody on. First pitch on the way. He swings and drives this one. And Rayburn. No problem for him as he gets that out. And a shot here for Alexi Ramirez. Two down. He's had one hit four times up. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Well, that pitch right there, he just blew it right by the hitter. Swung late. And a ground ball. Cabrera. And that's a base hit. Ramirez on board with a single. Now and that'll bring up Paul Canerco. Oh, Alexi Ramirez's First season so far. Let's take a look at where he ranks Paul compared to Canerco. everybody else. Second in doubles, third most in hits. Uh, he, you'll notice he's also ranked in the top five in batting average. A guy that puts it in play, finds holes, and finds a way to get himself on base. Runner on first, two away. Here it comes. Swings and misses at the fastball, 0 and 1. Well, you know what? I mean, it hasn't been flawless, but so far, they'll take it. Less base runners than outs in an inning for a change. Strike two, no balls and two strikes. Canerco now will look to 
tighten up that zone. Well, it's tough to do any damage when you throw a slider down in the strike zone, and that's exactly what he did right there. Got the hitter to swing through it. Fastball swung on and missed. Side retired. No runs on a hit, and they'll strand it. The White Sox, 10. Tigers, 2. And if you're just joining in, Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crunk bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. And Maglio Ordonez to lead it off. Single home run in his last at bat. And Ordonez settles in. First pitch. Bounce him off with a cut fastball inside. 1-0. Uh, it's getting late right now. They're down a bunch, so th they need a big inning here. They can't wait till the ninth to try to come all the way back. They need to try to do something now. Take it for a called strike. One one pitch. Now swinging a shot towards second. One away. Now into August. Let's look at the White Sox. Number series with Detroit concluding today. They'll continue their road trip for the next series. Baltimore Orioles will be hosting. That is a four game road series. After that, they'll be playing host to the Twins, and uh, we'll get a chance to see Delman Young. That team enjoying a stretch of great performances recently. A smash to first. And he steps on first. That's the second out. Gary, you know, he's settling into a groove right here. And that's six in a row that he's set down. Base is empty and two down. And the first pitch. That's a foul ball. No balls, one strike, Washburn. And that one will head all the way to the backstop for a ball. Here's the pitch. Up the middle. And in there, second hit for him in the ball game in his fourth plate appearance. So we have a moment to check out the staffs who have been giving hitters fits this past month, courtesy of State Farm. Number one, the Angels. The A's second. The Blue Jays third. The Indians fourth. And the Mariners fifth. Well, these teams right here are tough to face because they just do not give up many base hits. And you've got to make the most of those hits when you get them and try to bunch them together. Hard ground at a short. And that one's through for a base hit. Second hit in the game. 500 today. Fantastic chance here. They tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. And by the way he went after that in the box, Steve, it looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what. You have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate and took advantage of it. At the belt, the 1-0. Swings, lines this one back up the middle. And they get the force at second that time. That'll do it. They pick up no runs. Leading it off, Carlos Quinn. Now, Gary, I think you're losing a little something here. I don't think this guy's nearly as solid defensively as the one he's replacing. So, interesting move. First pitch, and he misses the fastball. Strike one. Well, a lot of times movement will fool a hitter, but it looked like right here the velocity on that pitch was what caused him to swing and miss and be late. Here's the pitch. That one swung on, hit in the air deep to left field. As he drops back and puts it away. And Beckham's in the box. Got a single in his last time up. The first pitch. And connect its own one. Well, I'll tell you what, th th this guy's changeup may be one of the best in the game, Gary. I mean, just so deceptive to the strike hitter. Two. Strike two, Gordon Beckham now will have to keep an eye out on the strike zone. You know, as, as a hitter, when you see a changeup. Hit hard on the ground towards third. Oh, two men up and put away. And Alex Rios up. Bounced into a fielder's choice as last time. And he starts Rios out. Right. And that's by him 0 1. Here's a look at the matchup numbers 3 0 1 off the Tigers. 
Strike That's two. a strike, and it's 0-2. Time for Rios now to protect. Well, that fastball right there, he just blew it by him. You're out. And Alex Rios has struck out a big swing and a miss. And nothing across here in this half of the inning. Next up, Tigers. And it's Everett batting. He's ready to get his best to bat right here. First position, home half of the night. First pitch. Oh. That runs high, 1-0. Oh. Well, a non-save situation right here in the ninth inning, and they just want to get outs right now. Try to get the first out of the inning. Take away hope oh. as the other team needs to score a bunch of runs. You get an out, you can really deflate them. Hey. And we'll get to see Bobby Jenks pitching. They've decided it was time to make a change here. Well, it's not surprising they're going to the bullpen now. I, I just thought maybe they waited a little bit too long. Should have gone and gotten them a little bit earlier. A little late on that cut, and it's two and one. Jenks sends the two one pitch, and it's caught by Ramirez. Uh, just having some difficulty right now trying to make up this ground, and, and obviously they've got a hill still to climb. And running out of time right now, only two outs remaining, so they've got to get something going and keep it going. On the ground to first, and Inge has got himself a base hit. I mean, a perfect situational hitting. This is exactly the time you want to go the other way. And what we're talking about is taking the ball where it's pitched. It's outside. Go the other way. Planter settling in. Swinging strike on that pitch from Jenks. Keeps it down that time. 0 and 2. You can really stay out of big trouble in the big inning if you can spot your fastball down in the zone. He deals. Oh. And it holds at 0 2. Oh. And another foul ball. Well, you're told with an 0 2 count to spread out your stance oh. and to choke up on the bat so you can put the ball in play. Better control of the bat. And that's what he did right there. That ground ball. And he's got it now. There's one. Decides not to try for the double play. Hangs onto it. Thing. Number 24. Runner on for Miguel Cabrera. Over five career at bats. He's zero off Bobby Jenks. And this misses 1 0. 1 0 pitch. And that's a fly ball that could do it. That's going to be a wrap. Final out of the ball game. A tough loss here for this crowd today, but boy, do they see some, some kind of pitching performance from the visiting team. Now we present our Pepsi Clutch performer. Great mound work, Jared Washburn. Well, you know, Gary, you showed he showed some signs of starting to tire near the end of this game. But that's why you have a bullpen. And he was effective while he was in there. Everything was clicking for this young man. And everyone did their job today. This is a total team win for this team. When you take to the road, Steve, any win will do. But when you get this kind of offense, it's very satisfying. Well, it also sends a message to your club and to that club that you showed up to play. Well, that time again, thanks for being with us today, Major League Baseball. For Steve Phillips, John Crock, and the rest of our great 2K sports crew, I'm Gary Thorne. Thanks, everybody.